Hey guys, welcome to a quick little episode. Today we're going to be testing out grounding the skeg of the trolling motor to the negative terminal of the battery that powers the sonar. We're going to see if that gets rid of the interference. So if you watch one of my uh, previous episodes, I went through all of the troubleshooting I did and all the crazy steps in order to get rid of interference on my Garmin unit and it just does not work with this Minn Kota Tarova. It refuses to work. So it's been to the Minn Kota dealership to get checked. Uh, so we had to wait till the ice was gone to do this test. And two days ago it was freezing rain and disgusting and today it's 20 degrees and super sunny, 20 degrees Celsius. Uh, so we can finally test this out. All right, so let's see if this works. Just to show you guys what I'm doing here, you can see I've ground the skeg right there. I'm using the green wire for some extra trailer wire I had. So I just drilled a hole and uh, put the wire right through and then I bolted it on and that's running to the negative terminal where the uh, where the sonar connects. Okay so here we can see the screen we can see some interference um, now the small interference that you are seeing is just from the prop turning it's just being in the current it's enough to make interference if I was in an area that was a lot quieter uh, with no current just on a quiet lake we wouldn't be seeing that so when I press the button here it should get worse yeah, you can see it's more consistent now. In deeper water, it's even worse. So now we're gonna try grounding it. All right, go ahead, try it. It's on? Uh, it makes no difference. No, no difference. Well, that sucks. Guess it's time to do some fishing, but as you can see, grounding it to the grounding the skeg uh, did not work. So so much for that. Oh, uh, we tried. Hey guys, here's a list of everything I've tried so far to alleviate the interference problem. So this is the full list of everything I've done so far. Um, first thing I did, of course, was ensure that all the power wires and uh, all the cabling was separate from each other to not cause any kind of crosstalk or interference. Um, I took a separate 12 volt battery and separate wiring and actually placed it outside of the boat and connected it to the Garmin unit to power it. Still, same problem. I've tried it, huge industrial ferrite rings. I've tried the little sonar clip on ferrite filters. I tried grounding the sonar to the boat. I've tried grounding the skeg to the boat. Grounding the skeg to the negative terminal of the main battery that powers the Garmin unit. I have tried grounding the skeg to the negative wire of the Garmin unit. Um, I also fiddled around with the noise filtering options in the Garmin unit um, <clears throat> and while I could get rid of the interference it got rid of so much detail that you couldn't see any fish anymore so obviously that's no good. Um, I had the brushes inside the motor housing inspected. I had them check all the interior parts. Um, I verified that the inner ground fuse that's inside the Minn Kota specifically for this was good and it was. I tested it. Um, and finally, I brought the Minn Kota uh, unit, the Tarova, to a dealership for a full inspection and diagnostic. They confirmed that there is RF noise coming from the motor housing. Um, and they did a bunch of tests, couldn't figure out any way to fix it. It's just sort of an is what it is situation. So then they asked me to go ahead and try grounding the skeg. Uh, like you saw in the video, which of course did not help either. So I guess we're gonna follow up and see what happens next. Um, at this point, honestly, I'm willing to throw in the towel. Um, if they can make me an offer or give me a great discount on all treks, I will probably do that. Otherwise, we'll have to see what happens. But so far, we are unable to solve this issue. And it is severely pissing me off. <laughs> all right, guys, talk to you later.